えいいグッモーニングエブリワン。OK。Let's begin our conference. Thank you for joining us today.、Uh, nice to meet you. My name is y u n j i n Oh.、Um, I am currently enrolled in a PhD course at s a n g y u n g a n University and working at a trade research institute, institute as a senior researcher.、Uh, OK, today, The topic of morning session is international business.、Uh, there are six presentations for about three hours.、Uh, so each paper presentation will cover around 25 minutes or 20 minutes per presentation,、uh, followed by a 10 or 5 minutes QA session.、Uh, I would appreciate if you could take a moment to briefly introduce yourself. Before your presentation.、Um, now,、um, let me introduce the first presenter,、uh, Dr. Wang Xiaotun from s a n g y u n g a n University. The topic of the presentation is Case Study on the Inherent Risk of a Trade Finance Fund, focusing on Lime Asset Trade Finance Fund. Yes, please enjoy and welcome. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, hello everyone. My name is Wang h i a o t u n g and I'm the PhD of the Sun Kyung-kwan University.、Uh, so it's my pleasure to do my presentation at, at this chance. And now I will、uh, start my presentation. So the so subject of my presentation is the influence of the corporate social responsibility of the growth uh, int, uh, enterprises in the Chinese markets on the custom uh, 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 loyalty. So, this、uh, presentation is based on my PhD paper.、Uh, this is the contents of this、uh, presentation. The first one, we will、uh, talk about the research、uh, background and then we will、uh, to review uh, our uh, receding research. Then I will show my re、uh, research model and I will do the、uh, data analyzation of this model. The、uh, last one, I will、uh, to get the、uh, Uh, conclusion of this presentation. So let's start it. The first one is the research background. So actually,、uh, the cruise market is very important in the,、uh, in the world. Well, the, uh, uh, well, the United States、uh, remains the world's、uh, largest uh, cruise uh, commuting、uh, nation with、uh, almost half of the global market share. But Chinese、uh, Uh, suggest to the number two uh, on this list in uh, tw uh, uh, to,、uh, 2018. So, a new study out of the Shanghai、uh, Maritime University found that、uh, in the just five years, Chinese peers of the、uh, global cruise market uh, pie, uh, pie increased by the、uh, warping、uh, about、uh, 1, 148%. Which is equated to uh, uh, fifth, uh, uh, eight, eight five percent of the global cruise、uh, tourist market. So the Chinese market of the cruise is very important in the world. And second one, uh, the uh, the Chinese cruise market、uh, reveal will be about uh two billions uh U.S. dollars in twenty uh, uh in two thousand twenty three. And it's extended uh the uh uh nine uh about uh nine uh nine uh one nine two billions in the uh two uh two thousand eighteen before uh the pandemic. So it can seem that the Chinese uh cruise ship uh have got a right to the impact of the pan uh pandemic, and uh it will uh it will starting to grow uh to grow again. According to the forex of the uh American site uh studies uh the uh the professional studies uh website in the American uh and it shows the results of Chinese uh 
Cruise market will answer in a a prayer of supply growth after uh, two thousand twenty three, and then the scale of the Chinese cruise markets is expected to reach about six six billion uh, US dollars in twenty uh, in in two thousand twenty eight. So so in the market with the uh, such huge growth uh, potential. Our research on the Chinese growth markets will be even more important, I think. Then I will show the uh, preceding research. So actually, uh, the, so, so actually we know uh, the, in the cruise industry, the, corpor uh, the corporate social re responsibility has recently become a very important uh, company behavior. So I show uh, so many uh, re uh, reference of of the other papers in this page, and and we know, uh, and we know uh, due to the recently increasing uh, customer uh, 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 interest in uh, environment and uh, uh, others. Uh, uh, and the other sets are so the so many research have been analyzed the corporate social responsibility in the cruise in the cruise market context. And then I have to uh, conclusions of the corporate social responsibility. Uh, there is the uh, what's the meaning of the uh, the uh, CSR and we divide the CSR in four parts. The first part is the environment, and the second part is the social and the uh, co uh, community char uh, uh, charity. The third one is the human rights, and the, the last one is the uh, uh, service quality and the product. So the other, uh, the other very important, the other important in, uh, in element is the customer precedent value. Uh, actually, the uh the the custom priority value, uh, as an important factor affecting uh customer uh purchasing uh decision and the branding uh uh uh, uh and the branding and the brand loyalty, and has uh, uh attracted more and more attention from the businesses and the, the uh and the academics, so the uh the the. Uh, the perceived value theory. Uh, it's an uh, uh, important uh, theoretical uh, framework for understanding the customer perceived value. And uh, it believes that the customer's uh, purchasing uh, decision are affected by the uh, perceived value of the products or the service. So, uh, the last um, uh, one is the uh, corporate uh, imaging. Uh, actually, we uh, have to uh, other research, re uh, research of this element. Uh, the research on the, the corporate imaging is uh, related uh, extensively in academic uh, criticism. And the aspect in the uh, survey industry and the tourist industry. Many people have proved that the uh, corporate image have a very, uh, uh, has a certain uh, moderating effects on the process of the CSR uh, affecting the custom loyalty. So we also do the, uh, the table of the others uh, variables and we make the uh, mediating variables as uh, like the custom press uh, value and then we make the corporate brand image in being the uh, moder uh, moderating variables. Last one we make the customer uh, loyalty as the uh, uh, dependence variables. So this is it's the meaning of the these three variables and the, the reference of this one. Then I will show my research model. Actually, uh, this uh, research model, it looks like uh, in, in this uh, table. Uh, 
so the so uh, from this the uh, uh from these figures uh we know the in uh the indentment values in this paper uh are the uh various in terms of the CSR pra uh, pra uh, practice and including the environment, uh, com community, uh, community and human rights. Uh, last one is the quality of employment and the quality of the product and the service. And then we know the uh, dependent variables is the customer uh, loyalty. Uh, I uh I include the uh the perceived uh the perceived value as the uh media rating variables in this model, and in attention, uh I include the corporate uh the uh the corporate brand image as the moderating variables. So this is the uh process of this model. There are so many facilities uh, in there, and but uh, we will figure out this. And then we will, uh, actually, uh, in this model, uh, we uh, conducted the uh, the uh, the quite uh, the questionnaire uh, service in China of the commerce. Who had used the cruise travel uh 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 service from the September two thousand twenty two to April uh to April two thousand twenty three, and I sent out nearly about one thousand questionnaires and uh, successfully collected about uh about six uh six hundred twenty results. The question, uh, the questionnaire was uh, administered using a uh, five-point Laker scale, and the data from the returned uh, qu uh, qu uh, questionnaires were uh, suggested in uh, relatables analyzed, uh, factor analyzed, and the correlation analyzed. Last one is the uh, mutated uh, regression analyzed. So we do all of the analyze uh, by the SPS, uh, SPSS 22 uh, statical soft, uh, software. And then I will show uh, the data analyze uh, section. So the first mm -hmm. step we have to do uh, the factory analyze. The factory analyze, actually, we have to make uh, so uh, the factory uh analyze uh it's enough it's enough high about uh zero point six. So in this table we can see all of the factory uh have no any problem about the factory analyze. And and the the next one we have to the uh, uh, color, uh, correlation analyze. The correlation analyze all of the results of this. Uh, they, they have to be uh, lower than the uh zero uh zero zero point six. Uh, so from this result, we know, uh, we know there is no other problems of the uh uh uh. Correlations analyze, but we have to point that uh, there's a little uh, prob uh, problem of this table. Uh, for example, uh, the human rights and the, and the quality of the, the uh, employment uh, with the environment is a little high about the, uh, it, it's a little high, and the values of the results is about 0. Point, uh, Five four four, and uh, and at the same time, uh the cost uh the customer uh perceived value of the uh customer uh uh loyalty, uh the loyalty, uh it's about uh zero point five eight six. So this two point uh is a little high in this result, but it's not 
it's not uh it it's not uh it's not it's not say uh zero point six so the result is okay. And the next step, we will do the uh, regression analysis about the data. So the uh in, in this table, we uh first one we have to do the say uh the infection uh the reflection uh the regression about says CSR to the customer uh perceived value. And then we do the same process from the CSR to the customer loyalty. So in the first one table, uh, we know, uh, we I have to point the uh, important parts, uh, in the, in the table, of the uh, below of the table. So we can know the uh environment element, uh, about this uh model, about about this model. Uh, the affection, uh, the eff the affection is about, uh, zero point one, uh, one six six. And the social charity about zero point two one four. Human rights is about, it's zero point one, uh, uh, fourteen. And the the last one, quality of the in in uh employment is uh zero point two four one. So from the table, we have uh know uh the results of the uh regression analysis from uh the the uh, corporate responsibility uh to the customer received value, and then we will go to the next next one. So the next one we have to the regression analysis. From uh the the uh we we have to the uh to the uh, regression analyze from the customer received value to the customer uh, loyalty, and we know uh the effect uh the effect of the uh customer received value to the customer loyalty is about zero point six one eight. And the VIF is about uh one point uh uh zero one two. So all of the results is uh corporate and we prove that uh there is uh there is a, a positive uh infection from the customer receive value to the customer loyalty. And next one, uh, we will do the analysis of the moderating affection. So the moderating affection, we have to, uh, to comp uh, to to compare with the model two and the model three. The model three is the model that we uh have uh, at the customer uh, received value in into the model uh pro uh, process. And the model two, we didn't at the, we didn't at the customer re, uh, received value. So if we co uh, compare with these two models, the third one, uh, the the third one models, uh, uh, the third one models, uh, is more, uh, it it's more important than the than than second one, uh, the the one. Uh, we also know the influencing uh, factor of the uh, society and uh, uh, charity, uh, 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 human rights, uh, human rights and the employment quite, uh, and the and the, and the quite of the, uh, of of service, uh, all of the uh, all of the affection is the is significant. And then we know, uh, and then we know the employee power of the uh model three is stronger than uh than the uh employee power of the uh, model two, uh the 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 
Nutty power of the monastery is is about zero point five, uh, zero point five three nine, and the the model one is zero point five zero eight. So, uh, so we can get uh the, we can get the customer received value, have the uh media uh the media team effect in this model. And the last one, we will do the moderating infection. Uh, we will do the uh, we will do the moderating infector analyze. Uh, the for uh, there are so many employments of the moderating uh model. So we will do it one by one, and I have uh the points, the very important parts in the blue, in the blue color in this table. So actually, when we uh, analyze the uh, moderating effect, uh, the we have to uh, we have to know the first one is the impact of the uh, the factor must be uh, 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 significant, and secondly, the influence factor of the cross term must also be scientific, and the third one, the explanatory power of the new model must be better than the uh, uh, previous model. So by the rules of, of this, uh, uh, by the three rules, we can know first one, uh, the first table, we know the, uh, the, the environment, uh, the environment uh, element have a moderating affection, uh, about uh the uh the print image I was a moderating expression uh in the process uh from uh uh in the process of the environment uh to uh to the uh to the custom to the custom loyalty and the second table because of uh the because of the uh this uh and and the way no, and the, when we uh, see the the second table, uh, the influence factor of the cross term, it's it didn't infinity. So, uh, so there, so the um, the the corporate manage. The corporate in uh in management didn't have any moderating effect in this pro uh in in this process. And and then we do the human rights. Uh, we do the uh, moderating effect analyzation. Uh, from the human rights and the employment quality to the uh, brand image. Uh, so from the from the two table, we know uh the service quality and the product, and the human rights uh, employment quality. Uh, have the uh, moderating effect. Uh of the process uh of the process of the uh in in this model and then we uh next one we will do the moderating role of the brand image uh in the environment and the customer uh, loyalty uh in this two table we have shown the environment uh the 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 environment uh moderating factor and the so uh the social charity moderating factor from the uh from the CSR to the uh custom loyalty. So uh when you see here uh the the cross term of of the uh, the cross term of the environment and the and the, the brand image didn't be significant. So and 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 in and there is the same uh, result uh in the social charity about uh in the social charity uh and the print image uh cross term. So we didn't find the moderating affection uh about the print image in this pro in, in this process. 
and the last page, uh, we do the human rights and the and the employment quality, and the service quality of the pro uh, uh, the uh, the service quality and the uh, product uh, quality, uh, about the mo uh, moderating infection, uh, process. So we also get the results. Uh, in the first table, we know uh, the cross uh, term about human rights and the employment quality between uh, the, the, the brand image. Uh, the results of this uh, cross term didn't be significant. So there is no moderating affection uh, in this process, but we can find uh, the, the service quality and the product uh have the moderating affection in the, in this in this last table so we can get, uh, get the conclusion there is a conclusion of the all of the uh typeses and we will uh just uh, get the conclusion like, like this the total uh the first one Actually, the CSR has a positive in, impact on the custom, uh, on the custom pre-saved value, and the second one, the CSR has a positive impact on the custom loyalty. Third one, the custom pre-saved value of also has a positive influence on the custom loyalty, and the influence factor is larger with the influence, uh, coefficient about zero point six one eight. So in addition, the custom press, uh, the, uh, the custom press, uh, uh, pre, uh, pre-saved value had a partially mandatory role in the process of CSR practice in the influence on the custom loyalty. And the, and the last conclusion, we got the, the moderating effect of the, uh, corporate brand image in this, uh, in this paper, the terms of the corporate, uh, the custom, uh, pre value, and the corporate brand image have a positive, uh, moderating effect on the, uh, three in uh, in the three independent, uh, value as the environment, human rights, and employment quality, uh, uh, and the uh service quality and the product, so which is a uh so so which the uh, the influence customer uh the customer uh received value in terms of the uh, customer loyalty uh the corporate brand image have a positive uh moderating effect on the customer loyalty only in the de independent uh uh variables of the service quality and the product so it, it's a good uh so 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 there is a good corporate brand image can make uh the customers more lawyer in the terms of the ser uh, service and the product so, so I, I i have finished my pro uh the presentation and there is the mm -hmm. uh, reference of the this presentation thank you very much uh thank you Dr. Wang Xiaotian, uh, he talks about exploring the four main categories of CSR, environment, social philanthropy, human rights, and employment quality and service quality, and how research presents the specific practice within the categories that have the greatest impact on custom, customer loyalty. Uh, the analysis the, of uh, the relationship between cruise enterprise and CSL was interesting. Uh, thank you, Wang Xiaotun. Sure. Uh, do you have any question or comment? Okay, let me ask you a uh, short question. Yes. Dr. Wang uh, is very interesting and uh, trendy subject. The CSL or ESG is a very uh, yes. trendy or uh, the popular subject yes. uh, in this uh, research these days. 
And I'll, my question is about your model specification. You showed three model, one, two, three. Yes. And I, yes, uh, your model three uh, include the product or service quality, while the model one and two do not have the product or service quality in model specification when dependent in independent model. Uh, traditionally, customers of perceived value uh, is highly depends upon the product or service quality or price. So those are the main uh, key component to determine the perceived value. But you added the CSL item or ESG like that. Uh, then I guess you need to start uh, with the uh, product and service quality satisfaction. And then you can add one by one ESG like that. But you did a uh, opposite way. Uh, your model one has uh, no uh, independent variable related to the product or service quality. And model two is the same. The model, when you uh, move to model three, uh, you begin to have the uh, cost uh, service quality of the product like that. Okay. Why did you do this? What uh, do you plan to add, uh, include uh, more model or model four like that? So actually, uh, the, the first one uh, I have chose, uh, actually we have chosen ESG uh, be the subject of this paper. Uh, but uh, when 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 I study others' papers, there is uh, so many constituents of the ESG. So it's not very easy to be the uh, to do to do the uh, research of of this paper. And uh, actually, when I compute the data, it's very difficult. So I first of all I choose the CSR uh, because there is uh, uh, the the less contents of of CSR. <laughs> the second one, uh, you uh, the processor uh, so the uh, you have talk about the model one uh and and in in this uh, process, uh so when I figure out other paper, uh, some papers uh, just uh, actually do the basis uh, the basis the coverage of the data like the uh, how many people have the intent to their surveys. And how many people, and what's the age of them, and what's the uh, 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 deck make of these uh, people. So maybe there is some uh, situation that the, uh, the age of the people and the academics of the people will have the, have the uh, very uh, uh, significant effect to the uh, culture most coverage value of, of, of the customer's loyalty. So I just uh, uh, a little worry about them. So I do the model one. So yeah, I, I know there are so many, uh, 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 there's so many uh, questions in this, uh, in this research and I will figure out, figure out that. And thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Wang Xiaoqiu. And let's move on. Uh, yes. Now, uh, let's move to the next presentation. The next presenter is Professor Moon Yeon Hwang from Sangyungan University. Uh, the topic of the presentation is a case study on the parent risk of a trade finance fund focusing on RIME asset trade, trade finance fund. Uh, this presentation has been pre-recorded. Yeah. Just a moment. Yeah. Hi everyone, I'm glad to see you and thank you very much for inviting me to this session. I'd like to talk about case study on inherent risk of trade finance fund. 
I'm focusing on lime asset fund. Let me introduce myself briefly. I worked at financial supervisory service in Korea for 21 years. I'm teaching financial area at Sungyungan University. I'd like to talk to table of contents like this. Introduction, Lime Asset Trade Finance Fund and Derivative Trade Structure, and Course of Laws in Lime Asset Trade Fund, and Conclusion. Lime Asset has invested in overseas trade finance fund in the name of Sinan Financial Investment using total return swap contract since May 2017. On November 26, 2019, U.S. Security and Exchange Commission cancelled an investment adversary business registration of the International Investment Group in which Lime's trade finance fund had invested and brought related assets. At this time, the trade finance fund was identified as was of Korean won 243 billion and parent funds invested based on these was identified as Pluto TF-1 as was Korean won 240 million. However, due diligence by an accounting firm failed to identify the scale of insolvency as well as its substance. SEC action against IIG like this. IIG manipulate the bridge to make it seem to as if bad loans had been normally recovered and used the method of mobilizing funds from new investors to respond to repurchase requests from existing investors. Lime asset fund structure and several kinds of uh, patterns. Lime had mother-child relationship fund structure and trade finance fund, goods financing and receivables financing, TRS transaction leverage, and overseas parents fund incorporated into trade finance fund. First of all, mother-child relationship structure of fund. Lime had a mother-child relationship structure with four parents funds and 173 affiliate funds. Trade finance fund in case of goods financing. First, the supplier signs a delivery contract with exporters and the export signs an export contract with the importer. Currently, everyone enters into fixed unit price contract. Second, export pays the supplier an advance payment. Third, Bond pays the amount owned by the export to the supplier on its behalf and transfer the title of goods to the pond. Post, the supplier transports and delivers the goods to the importer. Pips, the importer pays trade finance bond. Six, the trade finance fund pays the exporter's margin to exporters. Currently, 
The settlement is made by deducting the loan interest and from the exporters export price and surprise delivery price. Next. Let's look into trade finance fund in case of receivable financing. First, the export signs a sales contract with importer. Currently, the price is fixed. Second, the pound purchase trade receivables from export companies and subscribe to credit insurance for trade receivables. Third, fund pays the discount amount to the exporter. Fourth, the importer pays the total amount to the pound at maturity. Now look at Lime as a TRS contract. But discover overseas fixed in compound and conduct due diligence. Second, leave the possibility of using leverage in cooperate with the prime brokerage service Department of Domestic Security Companies. Third, launch a fund and recruit investors. Here, it is assumed that the fund of 10 million won has been set up. Fourth, the fund signs a TRS contract with PBS Department and completes TRS contract by providing cash collateral. Currently, 10 Billion one is provided as cash collateral. Pips, after raising the leverage in the security company, the amount is subscribed to overseas funds. If the leverage is doubled, security companies will subscribe 20 billion won in equity capital to overseas fund. Six is when the transaction is complete. The rate of return is calculated. Overseas parent bond incorporated into trade finance. Through this method, Lime Trade Finance Bond raised 243 billion won from investors. And this bond signed a TRS contract and received a loan of 350 billion won from Xinhan Financial Investment. As a result, total investment size of trade finance fund reaches US dollar 500 billion. And this money was incorporated into an overseas trade finance fund operated by an overseas manager. I would like to look into course of laws in Lime Asset Trade Finance Fund. First, manipulation of rate of return. Second, incomplete fund sales. Third, insufficient management of between mother and child relationship funds. To begin with, manipulation of rate of return since May 2017, Lime Trade Finance Fund has invested in overseas trade finance fund in the name of Xinan Financial Investment using TRS contracts. However, in June 2018, Xinan Financial Investment recognized that the IIG standard price had not been calculated and arbitrarily adjusted it to increase by about 0.45% every month until December 2018. Xinan Financial Investment provides the arbitrarily adjusted base price to bond appraise from May to November 2018, and Lime reflected it in the investment proposal. In the meanwhile, 
Shinhan Financial Investment receive a letter for shareholder of IIG insolvency. And they initiate the liquidation procedures from IIG fund trustee. Then to raise funds for redemption of the IIG in corporate fund, the uh, number of IIG included funds and IIG unincorporated funds were combined and changed to a parent child type. Additionally, Shinan Financial Investment and Lime identified the possible loss of approximate Korean won 100 billion out of Korean won 200 billion invested in IIG. On June 21st, 2019, all bond beneficiary certificate was sold to an overseas SPC and provincial note. That is, P note was received. This promissory note had a maturity of three to five years. A principal amount of 500 US dollar million and a fixed interest rate of 5% per annum. But due diligence by accounting firm failed to identify the scale of insolvency and as well as its substandards. Next, incomplete fund sales. False information of rate of return, investment structure, investment asset, etc. There are cases where an investment proposal is presented and hides the pact in order to somehow attract inv investor funds. Poor guidance on investment risk. The investment proposal of a trade finance fund states that it would borrow up to 100% of investment pr principal using TRS leverage. But in fact, loan was expanded to 146%. Also, the actual insurance subscription rate was only 50%. The remaining 50% was invested in trade finance before exports, but was generally not insured. The investment proposal stated that it was 30% CI fund and 70% trade finance fund. But in fact, it was 100% subscribed to trade finance fund. Lime trade finance fund was classified as grade 1, very high risk, but some funds listed in the risk grade as grade 3, slightly high risk, to attract large investments. Insufficient management mother-child relationship. Lime Pond had poor parents funds and 173 affiliate funds set up in a mother-child relations structure. The investment proposal was made with annualized rate of return of 9.25% since November 2017. However, the parent's fund was only established in November 2018. At the same time, the expected rate of return of 6% per parent fund investing about 40% in IIG, which was insolvent, was stated in the investment proposal and sold. A number of IIG included funds and IIG unincluded funds were combined changed to parent child type. By changing the sub funds investing in on parent fund, the insolvency was passed on to normal fund. I would like to conclude comments like this. 
most financial consumers face credit trust financial institution and make investment in products sold by them. Since financial institutions in Korea are generally conduct financial business with license, financial consumers have great trust in them. Only when this belief can support its good internal control, we can live up to trust of financial consumers and financial authorities. However, financial law requires members of finance company to create their own internal control system without specifying specific details to observe. Financial regulation through such internal control was not implemented well at Lime Asset Management Company. I mentioned before, Lime Trade Finance Fund used total return swap contract to create leverage and invested in overseas trade finance fund under the name of Domestic Security Company. However, as the Overseas Trade Finance Fund Management Company was unable to calculate the fund standard price. The standard price was arbitrarily adjusted to increase by approximately 0.45% each month over six times. Additionally, for additional investment by customers, this arbitrary adjustment based price were provided to bond rating agency and reflected in investment proposal. In this way, misrepresentation of rate of return, investment structure, and investment asset continued. Also, considering the TRS leverage management method, the Lime Trade Finance Fund is classified as Grade 1, very high risk, but some fund listed in the risk grade as Grade 3, slightly high risk, to attract large investments. C list of references thank you for your listening thank you very much oh okay, oh, okay. thank you professor <clears throat> Do you have any comments or question on the inherent risk of a trade finance fund? Okay, then uh, let me ask you a simple question uh, about how to grade uh, Bond rate, uh, and the bond rate, the fund itself or the regulator rate, who grade the uh, rating? Uh, <clears throat> those ratings again posted in in the, the, the proposal by themselves in the, in the, uh, the prim, uh, financial company suggesting. I see. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, it's my turn to project. General Assembly in 2015, SDGs were adopted as an international commitment for the sustainable development of mankind. 
The UN is examining the implementation of the SDGs by UN member states through uh, international conferences, such as the Summit on Sustainable Development Goals, the High-Level Political Forum on Sustainable Development, and the Asia-Pacific Forum on Sustainable Development. The PPT shows 17 goals of the SDGs. The UN SDG has been set as a goal that not only developing countries, but also countries around the world, including developed countries aim to achieve. How do other East Asian countries organize sustainable uh, development governance? And what are the current status and problems of sustainable development governance? Uh, in Korea, and what should comprehensive and effective SDGs governance look like? Let's find the answer to the question through the presentation now. Mm. Next, we will learn about the concept of SDGs governance. Sustainable development requires a universal and integrated social transformation characterized by a comprehensive scope and high interrelationships such as the environment, economy, and social fields. So what elements should be equipped with in governance for sustainable development? Governance generally refers to social coordination and the concept of governance is categorized around structures such as hierarchy, market, and network. The hierarchy is the leadership element of sustainable development, of development governance which can be called a governance organization and system. Due to the overall and comprehensive nature of the SDGs, the authority of the agency responsible for implementation is important. Another factor is the operation and management uh, of SDGs as a network. Since the implementation of the SDGs has multi dimensions dimensional and comprehensive characteristics that include not only the government, but also various private sectors such as NGOs, private companies and foundations, networks in operation, and management are also of interest. Committee of Experts on Public Administration also said in 2017 that governance for multi-stakeholders is essential at multi-level which can coordinate how partnerships with all relevant actors are like to achieving the SDGs. The difference in the implementation system of SDGs is caused by differences in national priorities and key areas according to the economic, social, and political situations of each country. For example, Korea noted the environmental issues of sustainable development and made the Ministry of Environment take charge of the central organization for the <clears throat> implementation of the SDGs. Another factor to consider in governance is the establishment of relations between the UN SDGs and the national affairs plans of individual countries. Many countries have already localized the SDGs, converting, converting the 17 areas of the UN SDGs into shared areas with their own national development plans, presenting goals and indicators. How to implement the UN SDGs in connection with the goals at the national and local levels in, is connected through the network. In, ad <clears throat> in addition, NGOs, civic groups, and private organizations are very important networking targets that local governments must accompany in serving the SDGs in the region. As a result, in terms of local and central governments and networks, the opinion that governments should form bottom-up partnerships rather than top-down overseeing implementation is gaining support. Next, we will look at the current status of SDGs governance in East Asian countries. First of all, Malaysia. Uh, Malaysia has been implementing a five-year new economic plan since the 1970s to overcome poverty and resolve social imbalances. Through this, the country has pursued sustainable economic growth, equal distribution of wealth, balanced development, strengthening access to infrastructure and facilities used, and environmental preservation. 
Currently, there is no basic laws for the SDGs, but it has been implementing them through the 11th Malaysian plan led by the central government. Malaysia classifies the goals and related agendas by dividing the working level committee into inclusive, welfare, manpower capital, environment and natural, natural resources, economic growth and finance for sustainable development. This method clarifies the agenda of each committee in charge of how the SDGs working level committee is formed and increases the structural. Mm, looking at the governance of Malaysia's central government, when consulted by the prime minister, is responsible for the implementation of the SDGs preparing the PF and operating the 23rd agenda in form of a national limiting. As the chairman of the steering committee, the, the economic plan unit is in charge of the implementation of the SDGs. And below it, five working level committees are operated that promote inclusion, welfare, human resources, capital, environment and natural resources, and economic growth. The, par um, the participating ministries in governance are 22 ministries, including the Ministry of Economic Affairs, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ministry of Education, and Ministry of Health. Each working committee consists of various personnel from the private sector, NGOs and civil society organizations, UN agencies, and academia. And six working teams are formed for each goal, and each team is led by a director level member of the economic planning team. Uh, there are various uh, actors in the Malaysia SDGs governments, but there are various uh, uh, actors participating in each practice committee, NGOs and academic representatives, such as UNGO and academic representatives. Uh, in particular, the group SDG, postcard group SDG, SDG Alive, and promote the role of various fields. In the case of the local government's operation and management system, Malaysia consists of a total of seven, uh, 13 states with the majority of Malay, Chinese, and Indian, and three states are multi-ethnic countries with a majority of indigenous peoples, but SDGs governance has been carried out under state administration led by the prime minister and parliamentary central government. The city of Malacca, which stands out in the implementation of the SDGs, is participating in the global platform for sustainable cities under the agenda of creating inclusive, safe, and resilient cities and resilient resilient cities, which is the 11th goal of the SDGs and has efficiency effectively implemented the SDGs by establishing a national committee policy established by the Malaysian government and a total of six uh, 2012 to 2030 Subang Jaya strategic plans. Overall, Malaysia has hierarchical characteristics that pursue sustainable development in line with the central government-led economic development plan. Uh, next is China. After the third pl plenary session of the 11th Central Committee of the Communist Party of China in December 1978, China faced a period of full-fledged reform and opening up. Chinese reform and opening up was a process of transitioning from a planned economy to a socialist market economy, in which efforts were made and um, paid off for the implementation of the MDGS adopted by the United Nations in 2000. Building an ecological civilization is both a Chinese expression of sustainable development and a Chinese solution. After 18th Party Congress, China proposed the five major development ideologies of 
Four Fronts st Strategy and Harmony of Innovation and Eco-Friendly Openness and Sharing under the Five Place One Body Structure. This expands and embodies the meaning of sustainable development. The report also emphasized the need to establish a demonstration zone for innovation in sustainable development, taking science and technology innovation as a core project for national development. China has included the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development in the 13th Five-Year Plan for National Economic and Social Development. It is intended to realize the principles and meanings of sustainable development by incorporating the ecological civilization and eco-friendly development ideology into various fields such as economy and society. China has prepared quantitative uh, indicators for sustainable development and made them the basis for monitoring, evaluation, and screening while implementing the above plan. The following table shows China's leadership ideas for the implementation of the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs established the Interministry Mechanism, which focuses on the SDGs, and through this, uh, China establishes implementation plans, monitors implementation performances, uh, performance, coordinate policies and communicates. The mechanism consists of 43 ministries and agencies, uh, each of which is responsible for formulating implementation plans for the relevant SDGs and detailed objectives. The five development ideologies proposed by the Chinese government reflect the trend of the times of sustainable development and are in line with the five ideologies of humanity, earth, prosperity, peace, and partnership that are emphasized in the 2030 agenda. Mm. Uh, the next country is Laos. Laos announced the VNR in 2018 and uh, 2021, and is 